Hey there, I'm Aramis, and this is the end of my first month as a full-time indie game developer. And let me tell you, it's been a wild ride of a month, but I'm so excited. I thought that I would be having a bigger period where I'd still be thinking about my job and having some anxiety and stress, but within a week or two, kind of towards the beginning of March, all of that stopped. And now I'm in this grind set and I can see how this could work. I've had way more success over on Twitch than I ever had before. I did this back in 2022 and I would average about 20 viewers on a good day, maybe 25 on a really good day. But now I'm consistently able to build my audience up to 40 or 50, get a rate or two and sit around 60 to 70. And it is a blast to meet a bunch of new people. So if you haven't checked out the streams yet, I highly recommend you do it. I wanna talk a little bit about why I do YouTube content creation. Someone over on the stream asked that. They, they, they specifically said, do you think it's worth it to make devlogs. And if you've been a part of the channel for a while, you'll see I've had some YouTube videos that do fairly well uh, relative to my channel, getting 20, 30, 000, like almost 100,000 views on some of the videos, um, but that is few and far between. Most of my videos get a uh, 1,000, maybe 2,000 views. That's incredible. I, I, I can't picture speaking in front of a room full of 1,000 people who actually care enough to hang out and listen to my little ramblings about game development. So if you're one of those people who watches day in and day out, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I think the question was like, do you think it's worth it for the time investment? And so as I thought about it, I gain a few different things from doing YouTube. Primarily speaking, I really enjoy sharing my thoughts and perspectives on a, on game development, something I've absolutely fallen in love with. And I've had a few people say that my content inspires them to do more game development and maybe find some more joy in their lives. And that truly warms my heart. It might be the main reason I do YouTube. The other reason is I don't know what I'm doing. And so I like to do a community driven development. That's why I have a Twitch channel that I'm spending a lot of time doing Twitch content, right? I have spent a lot of time in the last couple of years doing YouTube content. I need the feedback on my games. I think it'll make them a better game in the long run if I share that progress early and often and get people's ideas and thoughts and opinions. And even if it's a negative opinion, trying to find the juicy, useful bit inside of it. As I kind of dug in deeper on stream, I, I came up with two other really useful reasons. And the third reason is it very much gives me this sandbox environment where I can take a lot of cracks at the bat of trying to hook people in using a nice thumbnail and title to entice them in to watch my content. That is very helpful for an indie game developer who's self-publishing their game because at the end of the day, you need to create a Steam page, a trailer, name of the game, description of the game. The little capsule is the same thing as a thumbnail. You need to create that in a way that it entices someone to come and play your game. If all of that sucks, but your game is amazing, it's gonna be much harder to build a big audience of players. And so YouTube, although it has given me a bunch of bumps and bruises for, for videos I thought were really good that didn't meet my expectations, it's taught me how to have proper expectations and how to viscerally like figure that all out. I think the fourth big reason would be it taught me how important the first 15 seconds of a video are. A lot of people who clicked on this video stopped watching it immediately, and that's okay. I do that myself. So with a video game in the same context, it's not 15 seconds, but you might have 15 minutes or 30 minutes to hook a player into playing your game and not refunding it. And for me as an indie game developer, that means not shoving the first 15 minutes full of lore and boring tutorials. But in my mining game, making mining fun so that in the first 15 minutes you hop in the cave and you find out how fun mining can be. What a weird concept. Let the players play the game and understand where the fun is as quickly as possible. I don't have three hours in a huge marketing budget to sell you about how fun the end game is. I need to hook the player in right away with that fun. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time in this early development of chess, not chess survivors, of my mining game, making sure that just the act of mining and crafting on your gear is really fun and enjoyable gameplay loop. If you wanna hang out with me more, I guarantee I'm way more enjoyable to hang out with long form, and you can do that over on Twitch. I'll be live right after this video goes live. I'd love to see you there. Happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend or day for whatever day it is for you. I've been Aramis. Have a wonderful day.